In the everyday sense of the word, work is done by carrying out a task or performing a function, and usually work is rewarded with money or good grades or a show of appreciation. What is work done in terms of physics? Work is done in the context of physics by a force when it moves an object through a distance in the direction of the force. Work is the energy associated with the action of a force. We need a force applied to an object to displace it in the direction of the force in order for work to be done on that object. This is very different from the everyday meaning of the word work. It is very specific. It involves a force, an object, and displacement in the direction of the force for us to be able to say that work has been done on the object. These young men pushing the car will become physically exhausted by exerting force on the car. But this car is not moving. It remains stationary. In spite of the effort they make and the energy they use, the car doesn't budge. No work is done on the car if it doesn't move in the direction of the force applied. Take note, no work is done by the force on the car if the car remains stationary. When the force applied doesn't manage to move the object, no work is done on it by the force. So let's define the concept of work in terms of physics. The work done by a force on an object is the product of the force and the displacement of the object in the direction of the force. We represent work by the uppercase W, force by F, and displacement by delta X. The force applied and the displacement of the object can be in different directions. Let's say that the angle between the force applied and the displacement of the object is theta. Since work done is the product of the force and displacement in the direction of the force, we need to find the component of the force acting in the direction of the displacement. To find the component in the direction of displacement, we drop the perpendicular from the force onto the line showing the direction of displacement. The component of the force in the direction of the displacement has a magnitude of F cos theta. The displacement has a magnitude of delta X. The work done on the object is F cos theta times delta x. Rearranging the formula just so that it looks good gives us w equals f delta x cos theta. And take careful note, we use the magnitude of the force f and the magnitude of the displacement when we use this formula. Cosine theta takes care of their relative directions. Work done is a scalar quantity. It has magnitude only. It's associated with energy. There's no direction associated with the amount of work done or energy transferred. Also notice that because cos theta can be negative or positive, work done can be positive or negative. Positive work increases the energy of the object. Negative work decreases the object's energy. The positive and negative sign do not tell us anything about going forwards or going backwards. It tells us about increasing or decreasing the energy of a system. When the force applied to 
and the displacement of the object are in the same direction, there's no angle between the force and the displacement. Theta is equal to zero. Cosine theta is equal to one. The work done is equal to the magnitude of the force applied and the magnitude of the displacement. When the force and displacement are in the same direction, the object gains its maximum energy from the force. When a crate slides on a rough surface, the force of friction acts in the opposite direction to its displacement. We know that the speed of the box will decrease until it comes to rest. How much work is done by the friction on the box? When the force and displacement are in opposite directions, theta is equal to 180 degrees. The cosine of 180 degrees is negative 1. The work done is equal to the magnitude of the force times the magnitude of the displacement times negative 1. The work done by the force is negative. A negative value of work done on an object tells us that the object loses that amount of energy. Examples of forces which act at 180 degrees to the displacement of an object are friction and air resistance. For example, when you run, you feel the air moving over your face and body. Air resistance acts in the opposite direction to the motion. Work done is equal to the product of the magnitude of force the magnitude of displacement, and the cosine of the angle between them. The angle theta between the force and displacement is 180 degrees because these are in opposite directions to each other. Cos 180 degrees is equal to negative 1. Work done is equal to the negative value of friction times the value of displacement. The work done has a negative value. This is because friction decreased the energy of the child. It worked to slow down the motion of the child on the slide. Negative work decreases the energy of an object. When the force and displacement are at an angle to one another, the work done by the force is calculated by multiplying the magnitude of the force, the magnitude of the displacement, and the cosine of the angle between them. Note that we substitute the value of the magnitude of force and displacement. These values are always positive. Theta is the value of the angle between the force and the displacement. The value of theta determines whether positive or negative work is done by the force on the object. Let's solve a problem now. The man pushes the block forwards with a force of 40 newtons. 10 newtons of friction acts on the box. The weight of the box is 100 newtons. So we have to answer some questions about the block and the work done on it. 1. Draw a free body diagram of all these forces which act on the block. 2. Calculate the work done by 2.1. The force of the man on the block. 2.2, the force of the friction on the block, and 2.3, the net force on the block.
1. Draw a free body diagram of all these forces which act on the block. Free body diagrams need to have an object on which you can attach the forces. We draw the object as a dot. The man pushes the block forward with a force of 40 newtons. We represent this force as a pulling force on the dot because its effect is to move the block in the direction of the arrow. Free body diagrams must have all forces attached to the object at the tail of their arrows. Friction acts in the opposite direction. It pulls the block to the left. Weight acts downwards towards the center of the world. The normal force of the floor pushes up on the block. The normal force and the weight of the block have a magnitude of zero. How much work does each force do on the block? When the angle between the displacement and the force is at 90 degrees or at 270 degrees to the force, cos theta is equal to zero. This is true of weight and the normal force. 3. The product of the magnitude of force, displacement and cos theta equals zero. In other words, no work is done on the object when the force is at right angles to the displacement. The object doesn't gain or lose energy. No work is done on it. The work done by the pushing force W push is equal to 40 newtons times 5 meters times cosine zero. This gives us the answer of positive 200 joules. The SI unit of work is the joule. It is the same unit which is used to measure energy. The work done by friction is given by 10 times 5 cosine 180 degrees, which gives the answer of negative 50 joules. The block gains 200 joules of energy from the work done by the man who pushes it. However, as the block slides along the surface, it loses 50 joules of energy. Its net gain in energy is 200 joules plus negative 50 joules, which gives an overall gain of 150 joules. There's another way to calculate the net work done on an object. First, calculate the net force acting on the object, and then calculate the work done by the net force. The net force acting on the block is 40 newtons to the right minus 10 newtons to the left, which gives us 30 newtons to the right. In the vertical direction, the weight of the block is 100 n downwards, and the normal force exerted by the floor on the block is 100 n upwards. There is no net vertical force then acting on the block. The net work done by the net force is given by net force times displacement times cosine theta. Net work done is equal to 30n times 5m times cosine zero. The net force acts in the same direction as the displacement of the block, therefore there's no angle between these two quantities. This gives us an answer of 30 times 5, which is 150 joules. These two methods of solving the problem are equivalent to one another. It's a matter of personal preference which method you choose to use. Let's take a closer look at forces which act at right angles to the displacement of an object. Here's a man carrying a shopping bag of groceries while he walks at a constant speed along a horizontal road. Ignore any effects 
or friction or air resistance on the bag. How much work does the man do on the bag? The free body diagram of forces acting on the shopping bag show us that no horizontal force is applied to the bag. The earth applies weight to the bag. The man applies a force equal in magnitude to the weight but opposite in the direction. The man's hand exerts an upward force on the bag. Calculating the work done by the man on the bag, we have work done is equal to the force applied times the displacement times cosine theta. Theta is equal to 90 degrees, therefore work done by the man on the bag is equal to the force applied times cosine 90 degrees, which equals zero. The man does no work on the bag. But he does get tired of carrying the bag when he walks a long distance and the bag is heavy. So why did he not do work on the bag? Well, the bag continued moving forward at the same constant speed. Its kinetic energy didn't change. The bag continued moving forward at the same height above the ground. Its gravitational potential energy didn't change. The bag didn't gain or lose energy while the man carried it. Therefore, no work was done on the bag by the man applying force to it. Now let's try a calculation when the force applied and the displacement of the object are in different directions. Let there be an angle of 60 degrees between the force applied and the displacement of the object. When a force of 50 newtons is applied to a wooden block at an angle of 60 degrees, it moves 4 meters forward. How much work is done on the block? Work done is equal to the magnitude of the force applied times the magnitude of the displacement times the cosine of the angle between them. Work done is equal to 50 times 4 cosine 60 degrees, which gives us an answer of 100 joules. The block gains 100 joules of energy. It's time for you to try a few examples of your own. In the next lesson, we discuss the work energy theorem. Until then, work hard.